What's going on all you funky YouTubers out there? This is Zach aka Zio Fox and there is a little bit of tech stuff that I would love to talk to you guys about today. It's granted it's a it's a few years in the making already, but still the idea is absolutely sound. I have, I actually really do like this this topic and um it's Google's Project Aura. It's basically a build your own phone. It would be a modular device that you can add features to that you personally use. Like say for instance you do gaming on your phone and I know that some people do. You have the ability to add a, a higher end GPU to, the to your device and use it in that nature. Now, there are a few things that I personally would like to see being done. You know, I, I see that they ha do have SIM card model or SIM card modules that you can add to the back of the phone, and I would love to be able to have at least possibly two of those, depending on you know the if you work for a company where you travel a lot and some cell phones. Uh, reception is better in some areas than in others you have the ability to say switch automatically or even you know at the press of a you know go to your settings and and you know even if you have to physically change it yourself you know so that idea would still be perfect because you know you could in theory go and spend um, money on a pay-as-you-go type plan for say um, AT&T and Verizon uh, get both of those and be able to switch back and forth between the two depending on how you use it that way you don't incur any un uh, unnecessary network charges especially if you know your company if you're a company even this is an absolutely perfect idea for you guys you'd be able to have a stateside sim card for whatever you know plan you know your your company goes with and then if your company travels overseas all you'd have to do is say go to the local um, cell phone supply shop and get a, a a say say you go to Germany for all intents and purposes you go to Germany you get a German SIM card and you do a, a pay as you go you'd be able to you know not incur have that company incur so many um, uh, roaming or uh, long distance charges so that would be that that's one that's one huge advantage um, the module uh, maybe a module for an extended battery pack you know or a secondary battery that is used when your your main battery dies you know your, your phone automatically you know switches over or you know while there's still a, a percentage of your main and then it goes to the reserve that way you know if you're in the middle of a converse of an important conversation and your phone dies and you don't have another way to call you have to plug your phone in and wait for it to charge whereas if you do it this way you can slip that module that you know main battery module out slip it in the charger and you know possibly have a, a rapid charger on it to give you enough talk time because your uh, extended battery might not be able to last as long as you would like. Uh, the possibilities are absolutely en endless, f end endless. Can't speak tonight. Absolutely endless for you know companies, just you know the regular end user. I mean, the this this project Aura that Google has is 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 by far some of the best news that I have heard in the in the way of mobile phones and I really honest to honestly could not be you know happier because I I personally am a Android user and I love the interface that Google and 
all the developers out there have put forth for that, but I, I know that some people are, are diehard iPhone fans, and it, it may be something for Apple to look at as far as creating a, a module in and of itself for specifically for the people that like the uh, Apple um, Apple interface you know they have their own module to where you don't have to you know completely say switch to Android or or something like that they can still keep their uh, Apple with the iOS device and the people that like their Android can keep their Android uh, OS and go from there you know you have two separate you know directions that this could go in easily now it, it like I said it is modular design uh, the it, it works off the principle of an endoskeleton basically is uh, you have your screen you have the the buffer plate in between but then you you build basically your phone to the back of whatever you know device it is so you have complete and total freedom as far as what you would like to see what you would like your phone to do it's basically a build your own phone just like you can go online and build your own laptop build your own desktop you know you know it it just gives you another option to completely customize your mobile device to suit your every need so I, I would love to hear what your thoughts about this are so please please leave them in the comments below I would love to hear your uh, thoughts and feedback because I mean shoot we are the end users and it's ultimately our experience that is going to uh, drive this product project forward as well as now and in the future for whatever modules we would like to see so uh, I hope this was at least somewhat informative so and like I said please leave your comments below I, wa I would love to hear your feedback on the Google Aura project that's A-R-A -A. I will post a link to the to the uh, article that I got this information from in the description so you have a chance to read it and ogle over it yourself thanks again for watching and please like comment and subscribe and if you would like me to s talk about any other topics that you might have on your mind then please post a post it in the script or uh, post it in the comments and I will do my utmost to make sure that your request is heard follow me on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus and I will see all of you on the other side of the interwebs. Take it easy.